project is titled Pong and Get It. We created an interactive uh, video game uh, based on the game Pong and we are connecting Max MSP with processing. So here is the processing sketch. We are using JK Labs Max Link to link processing to Max. Input from the paddle goes into uh, Max and then Max talks to processing. All the 3D rendering is done in the processing sketch. This is our patch for our project. Uh, the first part is just our toggle for our Arduino. Uh, the first um, analog sensor is for the Y coordinate on the accelerometer, and that is sent and directly linked to processing. And our second sensor is for pressure, and that is also sent um, straight out to processing. And we are using uh, a ping pong paddle as an interactive object. It's pretty simple, um, all in all. Um, cut my breadboard in half, glued it to this paddle, um, and had the accelerometer and the pressure sensor set up right there. The pressure sensor is used to control the angle the ball moves at when it collides with the paddle. The more you press, the higher the angle and the redder the paddle is. The accelerometer that's been attached gives us a coordinate that tells the paddle where to go. So when you tell the accelerometer uh, left or right, the paddle moves with you. Everything's powered and grounded properly, and there's an enormously long wire reaching all the way back to the Arduino Uno. Uh, this information here is coming from processing and then going into the rest of our patch. Uh, this, pa this part of the patch has to do with all the sounds that we have. We have sounds for uh, if a player wins a point, player loses a point, we have background music, and we have things for when the ball hits the paddle. Processing takes when sounds should happen and sends that to Max. So those are triggers from processing, but Max is actually playing the sounds. And so each of these um, different select objects uh, trigger either starting or stop stopping these sounds. And for the background music, we also added a loop to make sure that the sounds continue looping. And all of these are sent to um, this gain slider. Uh, some of the quieter sounds are sent to this object over here where they're um, multiplying the loudness by two and then it's all sent to an output for speakers. Um, for our concept for our game, we wanted to go with an 8-bit style game, so that's what my images are really about. I had um, drawn them out by hand on paper, then I did the line art on Adobe Illustrator, and the coloring and pixel uh, effect is done all on Photoshop. So we had gone with a temple theme, and that's what you see here. That, that was the second image that I had included after I changed the color scheme. And this is the human screen, which you're hardly ever going to see. This is our main character. It's, uh, he is just an original character we have made that has basically the generic player character you see in 8-bit games. Our project is titled Pong and Get It. Yeah! Yes. Yeah. Woo! Woo! The world is saved. The world is saved.